Iranian soldiers arrest lesbian near Turkish border. On November 6th, Tasnin News Agency reported that the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, or the IRGC, arrested individuals suspected of being, quote, head of a women's and girls network, trafficking Iranian girls, and, quote, supporting homosexual groups in West Azerbaijan, in the West Azerbaijan province of Iran. Iran Wired reported that the person the IRGC arrested is an LGBTQ supporter named Sarah. This is not the first time Sarah has been arrested. Her first arrest occurred when she had been interviewed with BBC Persian and discussed the current plight of the LGBTQ community in Iraq's Kurdistan region. Following the interview, she was detained by Iraqi Kurdistan police for 21 days. After being released, Sarah decided to travel through Iran to then cross the Turkish border and seek asylum. A British human rights and LGBT advocate, Peter Thatchell, said Sarah's arrest indicates that the Islamic Republic of Iran still actively persecutes members of the LGBTQ community. Wait, she so, crossed to Turkey. She crossed to Turkey. She was she was trying to. So she's from oh. Iraq. She was trying to go through Iran to mm. get to Turkey, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she was oh. arrested like while she was almost there. Oh, but what's interesting crap. is that so usually according to like um a uh, more conservative correct me if i'm wrong armin um typically you can only really be punished for homosexuality in iran if you're actually like caught doing a gay sex act but well, there's also people not, who are no. persecuted for like propaganda and talking about it like trying to no for advocacy as well like okay, okay. so if you're like if you're like i'm a girl i like girls i want to have sex with girls and that's what I, like you can't get punished for that like if you said like i'm a lesbian okay Te technically okay you can't get pun you cannot get punished for that in iran because you haven't like they think like okay you have an illness but you're not giving into temptations so good for you good job like like maybe go turn into a, like and they're confused about sexual orientation and sex, um, gender identity okay. so they're like oh if you they tell they tell you if you want to sleep with a woman just go you know turn into a man and now it's legal yay they think they have a solution for that they're like people that don't have gender we fixed, dysphoria. It. <laughs> we fixed it like wow look how progressive we are Forced we don't punish transgenderism we fixed it <laughs> we don't we don't punish lesbians or gay men we just make them go through gender you know like even though they are happy with their gender they can change their gender and now they could be with the gender that they want like they're com com completely confused and some people and some people in western countries some leftists congratulate them like oh my god in iran they actually accept trans transgender surgery they like, pay yeah. for the surgeries you're like yeah but they but for people who don't want it <laughs> sometimes like okay so there's that's that's a whole nother world but yeah no but it's not just the sex that could get you in trouble it's the advocacy for the rights or criticizing the government's views on them like you could get in trouble for that as well like i mean you, you take I sh for example she's she's got an arrest said not for having sex because i don't think they have cut her they have they have they have they have, they have proof that she had sex with somebody like they, they she's arrested for advocacy and talking to the enemy or like spreading corruption on earth like sp spreading degeneracy or like you know yeah uh, so yeah stuff like, yeah According to the what? report, the IRGC said in a statement that one of the charges against the so-called smuggling network was, quote, communicating with and supporting homosexual groups who operated under the support of multi-regional intelligence services. So by smuggling groups, they're talking about, I'm assuming they're talking about trying to get people out of this crap hole place that they're being persecuted, you know, like, yes, I mean, getting it, people to freedom they like are talking about, uh, they, when they say human trafficking because they call it human trafficking as if it's against their will like this is getting people to lgbt people to freedom this is not human trafficking this is saving people it, i don't know if she entered iran legally or not i mean i don't blame her if she's trying to get away like i she, like i don't i'm not gonna blame for no, her, like I mean, oh why did you <laughs> like if you're just to, to be clear out, if she's trying to run away from Iraq and Iran, 
Like, I'm not gonna be like, well, did you file the correct paper? <laughs> like, no, like, no, get the hell out of there. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry that she didn't manage to get out. Um, um, yeah, I don't have any respect for Iranian laws, so it's not like, oh, she committed something illegal based on Iranian laws. Like, okay, good. Um, wish it worked. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, you know, I'm so sorry that they got her before she could get out. Hopefully, she she finds another way to get out. Is she still under arrest? Yeah, probably. Um, it's not really clear like what her situation is at the moment. You know, we were looking uh, for more recent reports, and it's it's not currently known. Um, I hope I hope we could put pressure, guys. Share this news to more people. Uh, so that people more there's some level of pressure, there's some level of international attention to this, so that they can get away with abusing her. It does matter, by the way. Um, the, the more people, the more people know about these stories, the more these uh, countries feel the pressure, international pressure, and they might change their behavior. Sometimes they have. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.